welcome to today's edition of On Stage with ACT. Today we're sitting down with actress Ellie Nicholas from the cast of Him by Daisy Foot, opening next Friday at ACT Studio Theater. Ellie, welcome. Thank you. So, um, you're a relatively new face to ACT. Let's hear a little bit about you and where you came from. Well, I'm actually uh, not as relatively new in the theater scene in Stewart because I started about uh, eight years ago at the Barn Theater. And even though that was relatively late in my life to uh, start acting, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. And in the past eight years, I've had a ball playing uh, a range of characters, including a Bahamian voodoo woman, a coffee chambermaid, <laughs> um, a nun. Um, it's just been a ball. I've, I've tried to stretch myself and do as many different types of characters that I possibly can, and I've been having a great time. And it's funny and ironic that all the years I lived in New York never went near theater because I was afraid and I guess I just wasn't ready. So um, moving to Florida has made something blossom in me that was uh, in there just waiting to come out. So you're originally from New York? I am originally from New York City. The city itself? Yes, I am. And how long have you been down here? I've been down here 11 years. Oh, Decade plus. That's yes, a nice way to establish stuff. Yes. So you said you started out at the barn. Yes. Um, and um, you've uh, obviously built up a nice repertoire. So you are here now at ACT. Tell me something about, uh, about your character in the show. Pauline is a very interesting woman. She, um, on the outside, she appears very hard, um, very tough, very mean, but I think there is a very deep sadness to her. Um, certain things in her life haven't gone as planned. I don't think she is where she imagined herself to be at this stage in her life, at the age of 53. And um, so there's a lot of levels to her that I'm trying to make sure I tap into. Um, I don't want her to appear two-dimensional whatsoever. I don't think any of us are. Even the hardest of people has a soft, have a softness inside of them and a sadness sometimes. Uh, so I'm finding her very interesting to play, and she does display a pretty good range of emotions throughout the show, and I'm hoping that I express them and do her justice. Now, we were talking earlier to, um, to Dennis and um, Steve. Now, this is a, a, a very family-oriented show. Mm -hmm. It's about a, a tight group. Um, how are, is it for you, as an actress, as playing Pauline, um, interacting with your, your family, your brothers in the show. Oh, I love that. I, I love the, the dynamic between uh, Pauline and Henry. I think they have a wonderful relationship. Obviously, it goes through some changes, and I'm not going to give any spoilers, but um, it's a wonderful relationship. I think they've depended on each other a lot since they were kids because they didn't have um, many other people to depend on. Um, as far as myself and Farley, um, that's a little bit more complicated, I think. and. It's kind of hard to get into. I think Pauline, on, on the deepest level, loves Farley. Uh, she's not very expressive about that. But um, again, because of her own frustrations in her life, they manifest themselves in ways that maybe they wouldn't have had her life taken a different road. But I think she loves her family very much. And um, situations and circumstances can change change the, uh, the behavior and the feelings. Yeah. What's, what's, the, what's the most interesting and challenging part about this character that you're doing? It's obviously different than things you've done before. Well, I just think trying to show her as not being two-dimensional, not as just being a raving bitch. Um, it's okay. Yeah, I know. This is going to be the internet, so it's that's exactly. tame for the internet. I think just showing her as not just being, trying to, to portray her as not just this, this heartless, cold person. Um, I think there, there are reasons for the way she acts. And um, again, it has to do more with her than with Farley or Henry. Um, it, so that, that's a fine line to walk. You, you want to show her as cold, but you want the audience to feel some sympathy and maybe empathy for her as well. So that's what I'm trying to do, and, um, and also have a sense of humor at times, especially in Act One. You know, she's great with Henry, and they're laughing. And I'm, uh, the more I rehearse and get into this part, I find those places I can tap into uh, to show her softer side and her, her more um, humane side, for lack of a better word. What's it like for you to work in such an intimate space? I mean, is it... I love it. I, I think this is um, the smallest theater I've ever worked in, and I think it's wonderful because I think the audience feel... I think you engage the audience much more 
than if you're on a, a bigger stage. Um, I just think you, you draw them in. Even being an audience member to see various shows I've seen, I have felt so drawn in. And, and I, I'm looking forward to that and being that close to the audience and hearing them gasp or cry or Well, I can laugh. hear you, the excitement in your voice, so I mean, I'm hoping it's infectious to your audience. I I ask this to everybody, and because uh, I always think it's interesting to have uh, everyone's reaction. Who inspires you as, as a performer? You know, any good performance, anything that touches me, whether they make me angry or sad or happy, joyful, um, angry, any kind of really intense performance inspires me. I'm a very intense person. Um, anything Meryl Streep pretty much does, she's, she's so great, you know, obviously. Charlize Theron in Monster I thought was one of the best performances by an actress I've seen in my life. A lot of the older actresses, you know, classic era, Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, um, you know, Susan Sarandon in certain roles. There are so many people, a lot of male actors as well. And, you know, as time goes on, you see that the, the gender issues are they're not as black and white anymore. So you see men portraying sensitive characters, and you see women portraying strong characters. So anybody that touches me and makes me feel something, that's a good part. That's a good role. That's amazing. So you finish up here in about three weeks. Yep. What's next for you as mm. a performer? And well, unfortunately, I also do stand-up comedy. Occasionally I go down to the improv and I do an open mic night down there. Um, unfortunately, with the type of work that I do for a living, um, my weekends are not um, pretty much, they're not open, as open as they are during the summertime and this time of the year. So um, between now and probably April or May, I have nothing that I can allow myself to do in the theater because I'm going to have to keep myself available for paying right. you know, yeah, jobs so that I So basically, do. you return to real life. I return to real life, until sad your theater real life. life to come and over. if I can do some comedy, I will definitely do that to get that creative, uh, the creative juices keep, it, keep flowing and, and get myself uh, on the stage once again. Well, either way, it sounds like you're keeping yourself busy. Yes. So I know you have rehearsal this evening. So thank I thank you for sitting down with us and talking to everyone thank here. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you much. And thank best of luck, luck on your run. I appreciate it. Thanks.